Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to episode number nine. I think a human resource machine. Uh, can't quite remember what episode we're on. Anyway, uh, last time around, you'll know that we were struggling with this re-coordinator one, uh, which is, I believe, a, a 2D array puzzle. Now, I had a moment of inspiration. I was thinking about this all night. I was thinking about it while I was eating my breakfast, and then it came to me. So let me show you what I, what I did over breakfast this morning. And this is my solution. And the solution pretty much doesn't um, use any sort of um, you know moving it it's, it's all in the division so what I worked out that we've got the like the four so if we subtract by four every time we subtract by four as a whole number that gives us moves us one across uh, sorry you know one down uh, like a row down and then when we get to the end and we don't get a whole number as a um, sorry a positive number as the remainder that actually remainder gives us the column so yeah moment of inspiration while I was eating my breakfast there um, this morning and um, hopefully, I'll be able to translate that into this puzzle. So, let me get my bit of paper right here. And let's see if I can... I can work it out! Alright, so. What do I need to do? So. Alright, let's clear all that. So, I am going to take... Right, first of all, I think I need to copy... Do I need to copy 0 and 4? I don't know. So copy from here. Copy to here. Copy from here. Copy to here. Actually, no. Scrap that. I don't need to use a 0, I don't think. So what I need to do is copy from here. And copy to here. Do we even need to use that? Maybe I don't even need to use that. Oh my goodness. Anyway, alright, so... We'll take our item, and we're going to copy it to... We'll copy it to there. Then we're going to copy from... Oh no, hold on, hold on. We do, right, so I'll get that in a minute. Copy from here. We're going to copy it to here, and copy it to here. We're going to call this one row and we're going to call this one col so that's going to be our, the ones that we're actually going to increment now we're going to get from the inbox and we'll copy this to let's just copy to 8 for now ok I need to remember is it if I've got 8 do I then sub I then sub from there If it's negative, then we need to move to the outbox. If it's not negative, then we need to bump the row number. And then we need to jump back to here, I think. Let me just run through this. Zero, zero. But I need to copy it first. Okay, I need to copy it before... Copy to 8. Let's call that... Working... No. Alright, so, let's just step into this again. 2. 2 minus 4. gives us negative 2. So, if it's negative... See, so if it's negative, we have a remainder, don't we? So then what we do, if it's negative, we then need to add on 15. So if it's negative, add from here. And that becomes our column. So then we send that to the outbox. Copy from the row. Send that to the outbox. 
and then jump back to the beginning. I think. So zero. So we have zero. Gives us a zero. Zero. Eleven. So eleven should be row number two, column number four. Copy, don't we? Let's copy. I'm getting confused. I'll take a moment, I know. to be before the jump. should be two three likewise if the working number is zero to check it here. So then, okay, above six. If the working number is zero, then we can just go to here. Answer to a solution, guys. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon for breakfast. Bit of optimization required there, but hey, we've got the puzzle sorted. Optimizations can come at a later date, I guess. So, all right. So, onto the sorting floor. It's probably like the the last one actually. Before we get to a 41 year career, though. 41 year career, that's pretty impressive in this day and age. We've really climbed the corporate ladder together. Thank you. My supervising skills truly are adequate. Your skills are pretty good too. Whatever it is you do over there. So, are you ready? For each zero terminated string in the inbox, sort the contents of the string, smallest, smallest first, biggest last, and put the results in the outbox. Okay, so... What's this here? I, why is this here? It's giving me like being a little helper of how to get going. So that's basically given as the zero terminated string. So it's, for some reason it's given as like the beginning bit. I'm not sure why. So. 
It's going to copy the zero to here, right? So that's that'll be the array index. Okay. And then our working copy is going to be across the top until we get to the zero. So then once we're here, we just then need to work out about how we're going to sort all this stuff, right? So, copy from... I guess. Yeah, okay, so then we're going to take this one, copy from that. So then let's think. If we copy from that, 65, subtract 31. Copy from here. Let's think. Let's think about this. Seventy-eight, thirty-three, sixty-nine. Okay. So we copy from there, and then we're going to subtract. I need a secondary counter of some sorts, don't I? Seventy-eight minus that. So I almost like need a counter which is going to run in front of. So we need an array index plus one. do that, then we're going to bump the index plus one, so I have a zero and a one. Copy from here, and then subtract from here. Let's just copy it to like here for now, and then we'll increment that, increment that. Actually, we don't want to increment the first one. 
So we need to get it from here again. It's a copy from the array index. Subtract from array index plus one. And then copy it to here. Just running through things at the minute, right? So it's fine. So if it's a high, if we get a positive result, if we get a positive result, then we know that number is higher. like the base here too, there, so we have a copy of it before we start messing things up. So we're copying them all out until we get to zero. Right, so let's say, copy from here, and then we're going to subtract from here. If the answer is negative, then that means the first number is smaller than the second number, right? So then we're going to do a if the first number is smaller than the second number we then need to change these around so we're going to change them around then we need to do from here and then we'll copy to say here then we need to copy from here which is going to be array plus one we're going to copy it to there and then we'll copy from here, copy to array plus one, which will swap those two round. Then we're going to want to, so that's now sorted those two, right? So we need to jump back.
to Let's just see what this does. Straight off, I need to do that. Okay. Put all the numbers out. negative I need to increment that array until I'm actually counting, right? That's why. So if it's a zero... I doing wrong? Other than not getting the answer, of course. Um, right, so if it's zero, though, all I then need to do is copy to. I don't need, I don't need that copy from. Copy to the index. that here though, right? So that's always starts as one. So if it's zero, copy to the index and then copy from there, subtract from that. Seventy one, subtract from forty one. So it's not it's it's positive. So we know that's the right order. So then, then we need to if it's positive. We need to bump that. No, we don't need to bump that. We need to bump that. And I'm going to jump back around. Okay, let's try this. Bump the index. 
index. Copy from 93. Alright, that's positive again. We need to check if it's zero, don't we? So, bump the array index, check if it's zero. That's getting very, very messy. Let's clear it all off. And bring up back our base. So we know that when we hit a zero at the top, that's the end of our string, right? Maybe that just needs to start as a zero as well. Yeah, so that should always be zero. That should just be the one that we're working on. Whether it's, so if we're like if we're working on one, that should be a one. But we should always start here with a zero. This is just a pointer to the current number we're comparing. And this is a if it's okay, so. Uh, what does it get I me? Mean, that gets me everything laid out. So then we're gonna do. So if it's a zero, copy it to here. Okay. So that means we're about to start comparing. We're going to copy from here. And then we're going to subtract to here. So if the result is zero... We're just going to want to bump this value and then return to there, right? Yeah. Right. If it's not zero, if it's negative, so if it's negative, it means that number is higher. The second number is higher than the first, right? So we're going to copy from zero. No, we're going to copy from array position zero. Copy to 23. Copy from array position one. Copy to array position zero. Copy from twenty-three. 
and copy to array index that. Then we need to jump all the way back to. Then we're going to need to copy from here, jump back to here. I'm also going to need to copy it to array index one here. All right, guys, things are getting pretty complex right here. I'm going to cut the episode there to leave you all on the cliffhanger. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please come back and watch the next episode where hopefully we uh, will uh, get closer to a solution on this one. Thanks again for all your comments. Keep them coming. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. See ya.